Yo, what's good with you, Gojo Clan? Welcome back to the channel, man. And today I got another Naraka Blade Point video for y'all. Now, today's video is gonna feel somewhat almost like a, a repeat, considering I'm getting ready to make another Wu Chen build. I know, y'all, I've made a lot. But when it comes to Wu Chen, he's just one of the more slept on and forgotten characters, in my honest opinion. Now, for good reason, especially if you're talking about solo characters, he's not one of the go to solo characters. Uh, yeah, so Future Tootie here, I actually wanna make a correction on that. I watched a video today just doing a little bit more research and trying to figure things out and found out that Wu Chen is actually one of the more popular characters in pro leagues anyways I think they said like top six or something like that he was just out of top five but for a majority of the people who do play this game which are the casuals he's a lower picked character okay I wanted to get that out there back to the regular schedule program but for today man what I want to focus on is the fact that I'm actually building Wu Chen a little bit different and I want him to kind of mimic somewhat of a character by the name of Law now if you guys don't know who Law is he's actually one of the characters in the One Piece anime and basically what Law is able to do is he ate the devil fruit that gives him the power to create a room now within that room he kind of has all control over the battlefield and what goes on and what doesn't he can do things like chopping up people's bodies and it it doesn't cause them any harm or anything but it does dismantle their body parts and he can put them back together whichever way he sees fit now there are other things that go on with law but i don't want to spoil everything and if i'm going to be completely honest with you guys i haven't watched one piece in a while but i do know a little bit about law so that's what we're doing with Wu Chen. We're gonna use his abilities to try to mimic Law and make this a actual playable build in the solo mode. But that's not it, y'all. Just to make things a little bit more interesting as well, Law typically is only caught using a katana. So in today's video, we are only allowed to use the katana and the hinge. I know it's not the same thing, but those are the two swords that are based in the game. So we're gonna try and limit ourselves to just two weapons and we gotta get ourselves a dub in today's video. So. With all that being said, let's jump into it. I made sure to land over here next to a whole bunch of people. But the problem is now I have to find a sword or the hinge or the hinge, the, the katana or the hinge. So if I don't find one of them, it's going to be a short lived game. OK, we found the hinge. Long sword. Does that count? I didn't say the long sword. Mm. I didn't know, y'all. But it is a sword. No, we're going to keep it on the two. Oh, my God. Another one. I'm being punished at this point. I am being punished. Said, nah, you sure you don't want this one, big boy? It ain't that I don't want you. I can't have you. How dare you actually do your job and get that kill? Mmm, good shit. Fuck it then. I guess this is what we gonna do. Hold on. I lost that fight. Always good to know, y'all, when you lost the fight. Okay, I did not think I was within range for her to get me. Come on, let's switch places real quick. Can I get out of here? Thank you. And now, y'all, what we do? Oh, I just missed it. Oh, that's so tragic. You tried that shit. Nice. No. No. No! You tried to sneak up on me, didn't you? 
Come on! Oh, you try to sneak up too, huh? Yee! Yee! I wish you could parry that. That only seems fair. Okay, hold on! Hold on! Before you just keep getting free licks on me, you bitch! You bitch! You bitch! I'm dead. Guys, I'm dead. <laughs> Where you at, you bastard? Come here. Mm -mm. Yee! 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 I told you I was coming back, you bitch. Oh, you're behind me? I wasn't looking. I'm honestly, I was just trying to get to high ground. I seen the, the dealer, and I said, I'm about to start willing and dealing. Oh, shit, this nigga has purple. Gotta play this fight right. Okay, let's get off the ledge. Come over here. I'm positioning myself, y'all. Stop, 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 bro. Stop. I know, I already know. Y'all over there typing loudly as shit. Mm -mm. I'd be damned if you just keep punching me, nigga. Come here. Mm. Oh, it's a bot. Now that I know that. Yay! Yay! Alright, so Gojo Clan, for me, man, the way I like to play as Wu Chen, honestly, bro, is, is more of like, if I'm in a one on one situation, I'm definitely gonna try my best to win that fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay in there, get some hits off. And just like you should do with any and every single character, play off of your abilities. But Wu Chen's abilities aren't like to deal damage or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just to create space and protect you. So, knowing that, do not, and I do want to repeat this, do not do anything that'll put your life in danger because you have no way of, of you know, coming back from that unless you're going to use the abilities that allow you to run away. If you use abilities that allow you to run away from fights, then I definitely say go ahead, play a little bit more on the edge and a little more risky, you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't rocking with that, your best bet is to, to be strategic and calculated in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, really looking at your opponent and playing off of the character they're using, that's one. Because now you know how to counter their abilities and shit like that, and you know what to look forward to. And the weapon. That Found somebody. Mm. I did. I ended up killing her with the other weapon. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. It was a matter of life or death. If we're going to really be honest, y'all, the weapon chose to come out on its own. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... He had a mind of his own in that moment. It's crazy, I know. It's sad. It's taking everything in my body not to say F this damn requirement that I made for myself, y'all. Mm. Side note, I just did that without having the damn soul jade. So... Really, I'm an idiot. Didn't know. Now I know because. <gasps> Niggas. Ooh. No, 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 no. Your mama's a hoe. 
I want to put the. How dare you? Uh oh. Come here. Got him. Whoo! Whoa! <laughs> I'll take a purple hand sword. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. E. 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 Oh, yeah. That's my ass, Mr. Postman. I parried. Okay. Hold on. Huh. They're both chasing me. Insane. Yup, nice. Easy kill. Like I said, easy kill. I, Cause I think she was a bot. Get off me, sir. Get off me, sir! I saw you. Yup. Oh God. I saw you both. Okay, hold on. Do this again then. Yup, 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 yup. Look at him, look at him, just shoot at me! Ugh. This is the last two, come here. John Got him. Repair. No. Get off me. Game time! Oh, smooth. Bot. Game. Wushin. So y'all already know, man, it wouldn't be a video by your boy if I didn't show you guys the glyphs and why I'm going about using these glyphs. So let's get into breaking it down just a little bit. So going over into your green section, all I want you guys to do is pretty much fill this whole row up with mine. Put all six of them with mine, get your stamina up there. You're gonna wanna be able to use that to get into you know some good combos and maneuver and all that. I don't have to explain that. You guys have played the game long enough. Then in your purple section, fill that all up with agility. Now real quick, before we get into the rest of it, I do wanna say that this build is going to be heavily focused on solo play. If you guys wanna actually see what you should run when you're using Wu Chen, in duos and trios let's say we can get this video up to 50 likes if we get up to 50 likes i'll do a duos slash trios wu chen build and give you guys exactly my method of madness on why i'm building him like that okay got it let's get it moving over into the red section now this is where it gets a little bit different so i want you to put three on spirit and then after that i want three on savage that's what you're definitely gonna want to run when you're playing again like i said solos and then in the blue section i want three on flight which pretty much just helps you get more of a distance with your grappling hooks and then give me three on genius because that's also gonna help you get a cooldown rate on your skill which we're gonna break down which skills we're using but that's exactly how you guys are gonna want to build him on the glyph section of the video now moving over into the ability section of the video, man, what you guys want to do with your skills is you want to go Spirit Blade Shield. And the reason you want to use that is because one, it's the best skill in solo play. By far, it is the best one you want to be able to use. Now, the reason it's the best is because obviously once you put that shield down, it's going to block all ranged attacks, including player skills. So if there's somebody like a Tarka or anybody who has like a... Um, ability that shoots is gonna block that projectile and you guys are gonna be safe and not only will it do that it'll provide you with some shield which helps you with the survivability it might put you in a situation where you're better off in a fight than the next person you get me then moving over into the ultimate section now this is what i haven't told you guys before man and i've been searching and i ain't seen no videos covering it so let me explain and break it down now when it comes to his ultimates you guys have a choice in the matter you can go between switch and portal 
Now, normally I don't ever use portal my damn self, but recent, you know, research and looking things up and figuring some shit out, I found out that portal is actually a really good ability, especially in solos, because one, you can use it while under attack and you can go back and forth in that portal. Now, granted, the enemy is able to see you and you're not really going that far, which is kind of like that drawback. But one of the positives to it, y'all, is if you're healing, you can continuously take that portal while you're healing and it'll still give you the animation. It won't stop, it won't do any of that. You'll still be able to heal. And it don't just stop there. It also is a way for you to block ranged attacks. But the downside and the drawback to it is you have to stay right behind that yin yang. And as long as you're behind the portal, right directly behind it, ranged attacks cannot hit you. But it's, it's a pretty damn good ability in solos that I'm recently now just finding out. So if you guys actually wanna switch that one in, you are more than welcome to. But with all that being said, man, this was a longer drawn out intro and breakdown of the character. I just felt like you guys really deserved and needed to know exactly why I feel that Wu Chen is one of the better characters. And me explaining how his abilities work, I feel like helps you guys understand my train of thought a little bit more.